Here's the summary of the Hilo computer language Fortran that we've been talking so far. For scientific computing, introduced floating point stands for formula translation developed for the IMB704 first widely accepted compiled high-level language the assumption was that high-level programming languages would eliminate bugs and programming errors Fortran O in 1954 four versions before F77 and the F90. One key to its success achieved fast execution close to machine code due to simple scientific applications, separate compilation to tolerate machine failure, millions of lines of code written in Fortran, misses a lot of features of modern languages and thus is often hated by today's programmers. Maybe one of the most successful languages ever. A float language can be very successful. It was the first which helped and it's still alive today. Here's a summary of the high level computer language Algo, which invented after the invention of Fortran. Fundamental inspiration for other languages. Block structure scoping. Recursion. LISV was already providing that. Stack dynamic arrays. Dynamic memory. First language designed to be machine independent. First language to have its grammar formal described in BNF. It didn't replace Fortran and ultimately disappeared. Difficult to launch a new language. Lack of output statements. Grammar described in BNF, too ahead of its time. IBM didn't want to invest time into it, they already had gone through the pain with Fortran. Why bother when you have the monopoly of machines with your language and when most people are forced to buy into your technology anyway? Used as formal way to communicate algorithms in the literature for 20 years. Now people use ad hoc pseudocode. Conclusion The importance of the Argo effort for computer science is made clear. The Argo effort was a success. Furthermore, Argo 60 did become the most used programming language for man-to-man -man communication. On the other hand, the Argo effort was also a failure. The languages it produced did not become the universal algorithmic programming language in the industry. Although it was used in Europe for more than in the United States, it could not beat Fortran. Fortran became the de facto standard programming language for numerical work. This contradictory nature of the Argo effort is striking. How can something be both such a success and such a failure? Of course, the answer on the question about success depends on the definition of success. Netherlands, Argo was intended to be used as programming language to instruct computers with and it failed in that respect. Despite its quality, Argo was not received well in the industry. For the perspective of the industry, Argo was not a trustworthy language. It lacked a gone in body. Where Froden had IBM, Argo 60 had nothing but a bunch of scientists. The dominance of IBM and Fortran was also a part of the explanation of the failure of Falcol. There were many computer manufacturers willing to implement and ship the language with its computers, but they were not able to break the dominance for IBM. The Algo languages, however, did become the main communication language for algorithms in many journals and publications. Furthermore, it was also often used to teach programming at universities. As a result, Argo became well known among computer scientists and influenced their thinking on programming languages. In addition, 
The algo of foot was the platform to discuss programming languages and many features discussed during the development of algo 68 would appear later in other programming languages. With respect to communication and influence, algo was a success. That the algo languages could not become major players among the programming languages in the industry did not affect its influence or its importance. On the contrary, by being a minor language there was less need for stabilization or backward compatibility. By being an academic language, algo stayed object of research and development. Consequently, the algo effort was able to prepare the way for a new generation programming languages like Simula, Fasco, Sysmotalk, etc. without the blast of the legacy. Thank you for watching.